can impact maybe your drive to work and your drive home tomorrow. Hi, Kev. Hey, we aren't quite to where Kansas is just yet, so we're going to have to wait it out a little bit longer before we see those types of images around here. However, tonight on the radar, you're seeing a little bit of blue, which represents snow, of course, on the radar. But at this point, everything the radar is seeing is up in the clouds. For the most part, the air is still way too dry between the clouds and down here where we live on the surface for anything to reach just yet. So what's happening is the radar is actually seeing up into the clouds and seeing maybe some wet snow over in Indiana or maybe some showers beginning to push into southeast Indiana. But it's going to take a while before any of that makes it all the way down to the ground. Eventually it will in the form of a cold rain. As you get ready to head out the door tomorrow morning, you'll need the rain gear. You'll need the jacket. You'll need the hat. The kids will certainly be uncomfortable at the bus stop because not only will it be damp, but it will also be cold out there with temperatures in the upper 30s. The bulk of the steady rain should be moving out by about 7 o'clock. Tomorrow afternoon, cloudy with a chilly breeze. Going to be a gloomy, kind of ugly looking day. Temperatures should be in the mid 40s. Now, as that stronger push of cold air comes in tomorrow evening, we could see a few showers around. And now those could either be in the form of maybe some rain or maybe a wet snowflake or two. But more importantly, as I talk about the forecast here, it's really the chilly temperatures. There will be a cold wind tomorrow evening that will have wind chills feeling like it's way down there in the 20s. So your weather headlines are shaping up like this. We've got a cold rain that develops overnight. Certainly the possibility for a flake or two tomorrow evening. But again, the real weather headline, I think that steals everything that cold temperatures. It will feel like the dead of winter. We're talking temperatures running 15 to 20 degrees below normal for this time of the year. So here comes this fast moving system. It's a weak system. It doesn't have a lot of moisture to work with. Hence the reason why it's going to have to fight a lot of dry air. But the snow associated with this will move from St. Louis Lewis to the north of Indianapolis. If you're heading up towards Lima or Toledo or even Detroit, they've got snow headed our, their way overnight tonight. Back here closer to home, though, it's 42 degrees right now. Officially at the airport, there's that chilly east northeast wind. By morning, most areas will have fallen back into the middle and upper 30s. So as you can see here, everyone is safely well above the freezing mark. And then tomorrow afternoon, expect highs to climb into the mid 40s before that push of cold air arrives in the afternoon. So here's your hour by hour. The next few hours, a slow fall from around 40 into the upper 30s with rain gradually developing after midnight. Right now, everyone generally in the upper 30s to around 40. The coldest temperature, 37 in Hillsboro. You're 40 in Mount Healthy, College Hill in Wyoming. So for the most part, you're in the low 40s around the metro and you're in the upper 30s to around 40 in southeast Indiana. Here's a look at Futurecast. Watch what happens after midnight. Rain develops across the area, and it looks like it's a cold rain as we go through the night. Now, again, as you head up towards I-70, there may be a few wet snowflakes in there, especially north of Dayton and north of Indianapolis. But here's 730 tomorrow morning. You can see how quickly we start to dry out. And then it looks like as we head into the afternoon, did you see that kind of blotches of shower activity? Maybe a wet snowflake or two. That's with the second surge of cold air that comes in here. But boy, talk about feeling frigid tomorrow evening. There's still a few high school playoff games going on. Dress warm, dress in layers. By Saturday morning, temperatures will have fallen back into the mid 20s, about 23, 24. And then Saturday, we never climb out of the upper 30s despite a decent day of sunshine. That's how unseasonably cold this air will be. So again, more like mid to late January than early November. Very cold up at Nippert on Saturday. The only thing we have going for us on Saturday night is the fact there won't be much wind, but temperatures will be around 30 and falling into the upper 20s, and it's going to be just as cold Sunday morning. In fact, Sunday morning, temperatures may start in the upper teens to around 20 and only climb into the 30s for tailgaters on our way to the mid 40s. At least it looks dry Sunday with some sunshine for the game, but cold. So rain moves in here in the next few hours, 38 by tomorrow morning. Then tomorrow morning rain, a break, and then maybe some evening showers again, either a few raindrops or a wet snowflake or two breezy. Here's a look at your day planner starting out in the 30s and only climbing into the 40s by afternoon. Here's your seven day forecast down to 24 tomorrow night. And then there's a look at early next week. Mike and Sheree, this still looks mainly like a rain system, but I'll keep an eye on it as it could end Monday night into Tuesday as a few wet snowflakes. All right, Georgie's going to be wearing the low.